Hey guys, it's me Max Rainbow and I'm back for another video. So today I am super duper excited to be continuing on my reactions to the live performances from Junior Eurovision 2019. In this video, I'm going to be reacting to Russia's entry called A Time For Us by Tatiana Mezhentseva and Denibriel Orzak. I didn't even have to look at it this time. Oh my god, guys, are you proud of me? I'm super duper excited to get into this reaction because although I only watched the first rehearsals, I did not watch the second rehearsals. I know I did upload them on my YouTube channel, but that's also because I just did not watch them, period. So I'm really excited to see this entry because I liked what I saw in the first rehearsals and I want to see it with camera angles and, and I want to see the full performance. So without further ado, let's get right into reacting. I know I've said it in every single reaction, but I really like the little profiles, like just the picture of them. I think that's so cute. Do that every year, seriously. He looks nervous. But I love his voice. It's just he looks very unsure. Okay, I don't like that shot. I wish they would have just stayed on him. And then when she starts singing, cut to her. But I really like their styling and everything. I love the high ponytail. Oh my god, that's a serve. I really like the staging overall. I think the little squiggles goes really nice with like the space atmosphere that they've got going on. Of that ponytail, like just swinging around, girl. Yes, I love their styling. Those jumpsuits are really cute. They both look amazing. They do look like little astronauts in their jumpsuits, <laughs> like fashionable astronauts. I love it. I wish there's smoke on stage. Too many faraway shots. I hate faraway shots. You guys know how I feel about that. Um, cause it, this just looks like they're singing on a stage, and I like an atmosphere to be created. You know what I mean? But overall, I'm enjoying the staging generally, like, I really like the LED, I like their styling, it's all very tastefully done. And their voices are perfect. Their performance overall, I'm enjoying them, you know? Something about them is very, like, charismatic and, like, I really like them. Even in their interviews and everything, I love their personalities. They just seem very, what's the word, like, I don't know, like, I don't know. <laughs> Guys, I don't know, these camera angles are, are messing me up. Yes, though! Okay, I like when they do the close-up shots. I just don't like when they go far away. Um, like, I know the stage is cool, but we don't need to see it every other shot, you know? But I will say, the live performance of this is... I'm enjoying it more because of that. Like, just listening to the studio, I'm not as interested, but I love them as people, and they're such strong performers that I'm enjoying it more live, even if I don't like the song that much. Like, I honestly was close to voting it for it just because I liked the staging. I really love their styling. I cannot. They did great. They should be very proud of themselves. They did perfect. Literally, they did amazing. All right, so like, listen, I'm really, we're at, I think, the third or fourth song that I've reacted to. No, this is my third. Um, We're at the third song that I've reacted to, and I gotta say, the staging is generally very, very good, and all of the performers are really, really good, but you know what is throwing me off of every single performance so far is the camera angles. It's the camera angles. And so, Poland, I'm gonna need you to get it together, because overall, I really like the production and everything of this show, but these camera angles are really messing me up, y'all. Like, they're really messing me up. There's too many far away shots, and it's really throwing me off. Same with last, with Eurovision 2019. That was our problem, right? Too many far away shots. It's just too much. Like, I don't wanna see the stage that much, especially with a lot of these intimate, ballady songs. I need close up shots. Period. I need close-up shots. I, uh, 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 
But overall, they did a really, really good job with their performance. I like the styling. The song's not my favorite, but you know what? I like it. I can bop back and forth, and I enjoy it. And you know what? And I will say this about the song, the more and more I've been listening to it, it's at least one of those songs that doesn't get worse the more you listen to it. And I don't want to, I don't mean that in a bad way at all. It grows on you as you listen more and more and more. That's a really, really good thing. So I'm enjoying it more the more I listen to it. So yeah, guys, that is it for my reaction to Rush's live performance for Junior Eurovision 2019. Don't forget to leave in the comments down below what you thought about their performance. As usual, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Cinema so Sentinel, any other video that I do. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter, at MaxRainbow, so you don't miss out any post polls, live streams, anything like that. And yeah, guys, my name is Max Rainbow. I will see you all later. Goodbye. Mwah. <laughs>